au niveau du son Ça a toujours été bon Du coup, je peux juste le tenir comme ça Ça va non, parce que c'est assez gênant en fait. Enfin, moi j'avoue que j'ai vachement de mal en fait avec ce micro. Euh, j'ai du mal avec les micros de façon générale. J'aime pas les micros. Faut que je fasse un atelier micro en fait. Ok. So, we're going to get, uh, we're going to get started uh, in uh, this truck which uh, has been labeled. A journey through uh, open street map in francophone countries from 2010 to 2018 in IT and West Africa and mainly uh, the talk is three parts the first part is going to uh, try to uh, provide insights on uh, the mechanisms that has been set forth to uh, Uh, supports the growth of OpenStreetMap in those countries and uh, some of the results that are going to be brought uh, live to us uh, via um, ambassadors from uh, Senegal, Ivory Coast and Togo. And uh, we're also going to, uh, to have a second component of the track which will focus on uh, how it's possible to uh, generate value and uh, do that in a way which is compatible with uh, voluntary animation schemes uh, around OpenStreetMap and uh, lastly um, we're going to, uh, to hold a sort of round table uh, to focus on a couple of, uh, of items uh, that will be just surfaced uh, through the talks of the two first components and mainly uh, on a very empirical note uh, we're going to start from what uh, it is to uh, to try to uh, to develop OpenStreetMap uh, in uh, in poor countries and uh, focus on all the challenges uh, ahead uh, for uh, The people from the south that just want to uh, to use OpenStreetMap and to uh, to make it, and uh, that's going to uh, to bring us through the concrete difficulties that uh, young men and young talented women uh, in IT and Africa are wrestling with, and uh, also see that surprisingly, out of the many difficulties, gender in uh, at least in. Uh, in Western African countries is not uh, specifically an issue which uh, somehow is sort of lesson for um, the rest of uh, the OpenStreetMap ecosystem and uh, finally we are also going to cast light on the limits of uh, what has been done so far uh, throughout eight years and uh, Uh, pinpoint uh, the difficulties uh, that uh, that are happening uh, in um, the way that uh, individual and collectives are organizing themselves to carry out their OpenStreetMap activities. So basically, that's uh, the the three components of uh, of the track that uh, that we decided to put together. Uh, Uh, quite a number of us uh, who are gathered here in um, in Milano. So I'm going to uh, to eat the road first and uh, to um, to focus on uh, the subject of that uh, of that slide, which is uh, OSM, 3GIS, and Open Data Animation Organization in South Frankfurt countries, IT in Africa. Uh, that's a sort of umbrella uh, under which uh, are going to, uh, to fall four uh, speakers that are going to uh, get more into details on how they are making OpenStreetMap a reality in their territories. So, first, and I think that this is a uh, This is what we are uh, wrestling with uh, when we think about uh, growing or reinforcing OpenStreetMap in, 
in territories of uh, of Africa and uh, the Caribbean. Uh, so, this context, uh, if we want to, uh, if we want to uh, to briefly describe it. Uh, is going to pose uh, the following series of challenges. Um, we're going to have to operate within uh, the humanitarian and development world logics, uh, which are necessarily not necessarily OpenStreetMap friendly, or can appear to be OpenStreetMap friendly, but in the fact can be uh, difficulties for uh, for the development of, uh, of OpenStreetMap. Uh, we're going to wrestle for sure uh, with context of poverty and context of crisis, pre or post crisis, uh, which will be specific. Uh, we're going also to have to um, to take into account uh, and to adapt to uh, the weakness of free GIS and open data capacities in those countries, although the landscape is moving and more and more capacities are being built and new actors are emerging. Uh, weakness is also, uh, unfortunately, yet in 2018, uh, a good descriptor of uh, the free software and open data movement in, uh, in those territories outside of the capital and a couple of select hubs. Uh, there's, um, those realities are uh, fragile and tiny and um, within that realm and that weakness uh, the reality and dynamism of free collaborative projects like OpenStreetMap or Wikipedia uh, is also uh, something which, uh, which is even more fragile. Uh, so those issues or uh, those elements of the context in which we had been operating since 2010 uh, basically uh, put forward uh, the, main, the main dilemma, the main paradoxical for OpenStreetMap projects. Uh, we had to adapt a free voluntary autonomous project uh, which emerged in, uh, in countries of the north uh, on civilizations which are said rich in terms of incomes uh, into uh, poor countries of the south and uh, and what we want to uh, foster is uh, a practice of open street map which will be regular and which will tend to uh, to be massive or at least be important beyond dozens of people and in so doing, uh, in uh, solving that, that contradiction, uh, we want to be sure that what's going to, uh, to emerge in the South is going to stay true to uh, the values and the modus operandi of OpenStreetMap and uh, will contribute diversely to how OpenStreetMap emerge in the North, but without betraying uh, some of its core values and, uh, and practices. So, uh, without any pre-thought schemes and operational schemes, what, uh, what emerged uh, from uh, those eight years of work and uh, is a following approach that can be characterized as follow. So, we tried to develop something which uh, which tends to be autonomous from uh, the humanitarian and development system. Uh, autonomous, but uh, not without any relations, capable of relations with these fields, but uh, with an autonomy. Uh, we want and we tried to keep uh, all the animation work of OpenStreetMap relevant to uh, the GIS work or the open data work happening in uh, development or uh, crisis response and crisis preparedness. We try to mix as much as possible remote and uh, direct field work 
and uh, we also try to articulate the scales and uh, be sure that everything's happening locally can be supported globally and that local collectives are able to uh, strike relations with actors that are outside of their territories. So basically the whole idea is to, uh, to build circulations within the Francophone area uh, under south-south, north-south, south-north uh, directions and ultimately uh, we tried uh, succeeding between limits uh, into combining uh, unpaid to voluntary uh, and economic project schemes so basically that's the approach in general and uh, the the challenges that uh, that we had to uh, to wrestle with so with this in mind, the objectives and what we uh, what we tried to uh, what we tried to uh, to bring and to put forward was to uh, to help start and consolidate the uh, SM project in uh, in that area of the world, and uh, we want this consolidation to emerge as local open street map collective that are organized and that are autonomous. Uh, we want and we tried to uh, collectively build an open street map expertise around data creation, training, sensibilization, outreach, communications. Uh, we tried to secure uh, the necessary hardware part uh, for uh, that expertise to unfold. Uh, and uh, we also tried to secure access to workspaces uh, for uh, the necessity to adjust to local uh, ways of doing things which, uh, which are not only virtual but uh, needs to be grounded into territories and uh, direct contact. Uh, with the above, uh, an OpenStreetMap collective will be locally able to uh, adapt the OSM ways from the north to its context and invent new ways of doing OpenStreetMap uh, that collective will be able to build relations uh, in countries with all uh, the tech and GIS uh, actors uh, in their countries, but also outside. Um, they will, by so doing, develop a capacity to act with impact uh, all through uh, the continuum in between development and, uh, and crisis work. Uh, they will be able to significantly uh, support uh, OpenStreetMap mobilization in uh, response to humanitarian crises uh, for sudden onset crises that are under the media, but as well be impactful on uh, long-term political forgotten crises, like in Central African Republic. And uh, they will act... Uh, and they are acting, uh, articulating uh, in a quite efficient manner uh, the three layers of the OpenStreetMap ecosystem. The community layer, the layer of uh, an OpenStreetMap uh, country collective or associations working as a de facto OpenStreetMap Foundation chapter. And uh, they will also be able to, uh, to do that uh, be active on the community and the chapter front uh, with, uh, within the economic sectors, acting as economic operators, managing um, quite well or satisfac in a satisfactory manner uh, the possible conflict of interest uh, that can arise. In terms of, uh, of activities, what, uh, what has been unfolding for uh, years now uh, on a kind of regular basis are uh, the below activities, uh, information, outreach, advising around OpenStreetMap, trainings, uh, mapping campaigns, uh, general ones or uh, thematic ones. And um, there will be an activity of, uh, of mentoring to grow uh, 
a collective of uh, or a network of trainers uh, and animators uh, in that area. Uh, activities of documentations, communications and learning from uh, the experience which has been unfolding. What uh, What has been uh, what has been done to uh, to support those activities has been to strike partnerships uh, and uh, to allow local collectives to uh, to get uh, access to external resources and partners uh, and access to workspaces. Uh, so quite uh, quite. Um, Without, without any much surprise, uh, the, following, the following places or the following type of actors uh, have, been, um, have been approached and uh, are part of that dynamic. Uh, we have academics, uh, academics actors. Uh, within that realm, uh, the, the Campus Numérique Francophone of the Agence Universitaire de la Francophonie. We've got tech spaces. Uh, We've got uh, town hall. Uh, we can also have access to um, NGOs or international organizations, workplaces. But also, uh, everyone uh, in that area of the world is able to uh, mobilize its own resource, tiny community centers, uh, internet cafe, mackies, uh, houses, even the streets sometimes. Uh, the impacts that uh, that have been uh, that have been sought uh, is uh, and what we can see is uh, is that we managed through uh, those um, those ways of working to uh, develop some um, some animations uh, before during and after uh, any phases of work, be that project a benevolent uh, project or something which is bound to, uh, to an economic framework. Uh, and that activity uh, plays a role of catalyst. Uh, it, it allows uh, basically to grow capacity of uh, the main animators uh, of that, uh, those OpenStreetMap collectives um, it allows uh, a more diverse OpenStreetMap uh, animations after the after the activity, and uh, it also builds uh, the capacity to uh, to scale up uh, the OpenStreetMap uh, animations uh, by reaching out to new partners, uh, reaching out to. Um, enlarging the basis of uh, of the community members enlarging uh, the network of animators and uh, generating more attentions and uh, making uh, easier uh, the mobilizations of current resources and additional resources all this uh, is reinforcing an a pre-existing autonomy and uh, is to be supported for any actors willing to uh, to help grow OpenStreetMap uh, through various ways of uh, of uh, of support. Uh, all those things need to be articulated locally and globally, and uh, any experience from the OpenStreetMap world uh, is now able to connect to uh, the reality of uh, of those. Uh, OpenStreetMap uh, collective from the south. Uh, in terms of um, in terms of actions uh, at the level of uh, individual and collectives, what uh, has been organised by uh, the many people involved in that animations are the following things. Uh, you had training and mentoring activities around technical and organizational aspects of uh, the OpenStreetMap, FreeGIS, and Open Data animations, uh, so that they can make the the project their own uh, with respect to uh, their specific context. 
Um, this will span now how techniques, tools to create, use, share free geographical data, uh, be able to train at various level on uh, on the above. Um, uh, that will put forth the virtue of contributing to OpenStreetMap uh, through uh, benevolent activities, self-teaching, networking, educations that will also allow for professionalizations and um, that will also support uh, economic project design uh, so that they can be carried out in a way which will grow the OpenStreetMap uh, ecosystem uh, that will allow the people active in the implementation of the project to boost their skills, to reach new partners, new members, and uh, contribute to uh, the commons of uh, the OpenStreetMap project. So concretely, that can be furnishing resources to uh, an OpenStreetMap local collective or an association or chapters in the forms of uh, money to uh, buy the rent or access to workspaces, tiny bits of hardware that are actually needed, or that can be uh, small contributions to uh, the low operational budget uh, under which uh, it's possible to do things uh, impactful in the size. Uh, lastly, uh, that uh, training and mentoring uh, is also focusing on uh, the organizational and governance supports to all those collective uh, so that um, uh, emerged uh, a mature uh, OSM chapters able to uh, carry out uh, under the, the OpenStreetMap ethos, uh, the role of such a chapter, the way that it happens in uh, countries of the North. Uh, the actors that are beyond this uh, animation mechanisms or organizations uh, within or uh, in between countries uh, in that area of the world uh, mainly are, have been uh, experts or members of uh, the associations Le Libre Geographe, Projet OF, as well as all the OpenStreetMap collectives and uh, associations and local mappers uh, from those various, various countries that we can name at that stage of the presentation. We've got people from Haiti, we've got people from Mali, Niger, Burkina Faso, Ivory Coast, Senegal, uh, Togo, Benin, Chad, now to a certain extent Madagascar and uh, Ghana as well as Guinea uh, and uh, in the first eight countries uh, what the ways under which things are happening uh, are either a series of projects that have been designed and implemented by and with uh, the directions of um, uh, the uh, Economic and Digital Directorate of Organisation Internationale de la Francophonie. Uh, direct support to OpenStreetMap animations. We had OIF volunteering programs, uh, namely uh, le programme des volontaires internationaux de la francophonie. We had international and technical organization capacity building projects. Uh, we had documentation projects around Learn OSM, free geomatics, organizational aspect of OpenStreetMap, development of tools. Aside of OIF, um, significantly, uh, Terre des Hommes, Institut de Recherche pour le Développement, and GRET have been. Uh, the main uh, supporters of uh, those eight years of activities. New actors are uh, getting into the scene and uh, that can be something extremely beneficial for the ecosystems. Uh, if, we want to, uh, if we want to see how oh, those projects are just uh, organizing and lining themselves in terms of what's happening uh, on a regular basis in those uh, in those territories uh, shall you witness and scrutinize the OpenStreetMap activities you will see a mix of uh, community driven 
actions, uh, training, mapping parties, mapathon, uh, presents into uh, uh, conferences. Uh, you will have uh, the same kind of activities that can happen as uh, the Association Project OF activities uh, on its own budget or on a voluntary basis. You will have uh, capacity building actions uh, led by OIF, Le Libre Geographe, who you will have uh, activities towards beneficiaries as well as trainers. And uh, you will have uh, you will have economic projects uh, carried out by the same the same actors. Uh, Speaking of Le Libre Geographe, uh, projects uh, have been have been organized with uh, local mappers and collectives with uh, OIF and uh, GRET, IRD, um, and uh, now we see emerging new actors uh, like Carto NG, Missing Maps, uh, the Red Crosses with the American Red Cross, Benis, OIFSC. We have uh, the RTOS Inc. micro grants. All these can turn into valuable resources and new resources uh, for those OpenStreetMap collectives. Uh, but uh, what we've been taught by those years of practices is that uh, it will be very important for all those new actors arriving in that area of the world to. Um, to be uh, to be active, uh, to be cautious to uh, the OpenStreetMap governments, and to combine uh, harmoniously uh, the three layers of the OpenStreetMap governments: the activities that are done at a community level, what is being done at the level of uh, an OpenStreetMap uh, associations or collective, and how we are doing uh, and creating economic values within OpenStreetMap. Uh, the second layer of uh, concern uh, has to do with communications. I think that communications, truth in communications and attributions is something which is really paramount for uh, the ecosystem to remain healthy. And lastly, and probably the most important, is that the autonomy of OpenStreetMap is something that is not negotiable. It has to remain uh, centered on itself. Uh, outside of uh, the internal logics of uh, the humanitarians and development actors. No one could have significantly think that OpenStreetMap in France could have rise if OpenStreetMap has to comply with the requirements or the logics of the French National Mapping Agency. So that's exactly the same that, uh, that has to, uh, to, uh, to be thought when uh, uh, using opportunities provided by actors of this of the of that world in um, in that area of the world, I think that for us uh, that's going to be all uh, in terms of descriptions of uh, the challenges, the approaches, how it unfolds, and now uh, that will be up to uh, ladies from. Uh, Western Africa to uh, provide us with more details on how this translates into reality and how the above uh, has been uh, digested and uh, reused. Now, after this 20 minutes, 25 minutes, and this merci, which has not been translated into English, comes the time for questions. Sì, in italiano, vai. Grazie. <laughs> È un buon inizio, mio caro. Complimenti. Uh, okay, I have one question. You have talked about the documentation of the project of. I would like to know if, because I know that it's very nice uh, documentation, but how we can access that documentation online if it's possible? That's my question. That's a wonderful question. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, with seven others, uh, we've wrote uh, a lot of documentations, that's true, and uh, its life has been mostly 
non-web based. Uh, it's uh, something which is being circulated mostly through USB keys uh, in the, the various territories. Uh, they can be uh, accessed and downloaded uh, from uh, a, da a, a folder of the Le Libre Geograph website. Uh, we're working into having uh, a better layout of, uh, of all uh, the, the various pieces that has, been, uh, that has been wrote. That's something that's going to be accessible uh, through uh, the LLG website, uh, which uh, shall be up and running probably at the end of this summer. And uh, the second element uh, inside the documentation is its maintenance. Uh, the number of people that are truly contributing to that is uh, is not huge. So at the moment we keep the things uh, simple. So basically uh, we are relying on a, a series of um, of Google documents, uh, a working one and uh, and the final ones, uh, and um, we just opt to. Uh, invite people interested into contributing to uh, to do that with uh, with us and uh, just scale up the tech uh, as soon as there are enough maintainers that uh, that will uh, show the bottlenecks of uh, of the maintenance approach that we have so far so that's for it but it's it's a low internet presence and it's probably prejudicial to uh, to the future of those documents. But we are trying to work on it. I was also curious to know what is the project cohesion. The what? Uh, uh, cohesion. cohesion. More question? Or shall we call to the Tribune? To go? Or Ivory Coast? No? Or Senegal? Date it. Yeah, Senegal? Question? Not for question, my dear, for presentation. Okay. Yes.